Well, hello and happy Wednesday, everyone. Today I have another coin, as you can see right here in front of me, uh, sent in by the Silver Trader. So please be sure to check out the links down below. We can find a link to Martin's website, Silver Trader, also the Precious Metal Forum, and also uh, my own personal website, Ace Bullion. Now, a little bit of uh, news just before, the Popjoy Mint um, is going to be closing this year. So at New Year's, that's it. The Popjoy Mint will now be closed. Um, essentially, that's what they've decided to do. And yep, so head on over, obviously, check out anything that you may want. Um, I know they are reducing the prices on stuff. And once they're gone, they're gone. So anything that you guys have, may or may not be collectible in the future. Well, with that being said, let's find out what this thing's all about and uh, why I think it's actually a bit of a, a kind of a nice coin. Well, we'll see, here we go. Right, well, there's no beating around the bush. No one really likes to talk about death or, you know, uh, how far, you know, or how long it's been since someone has died. However, the East India Coin Company has come up with something to honor Queen Elizabeth II. And no, we're not talking about the ugly mug here on you know, <laughs> for Prince Charles's face. Um, but uh, no, we are actually talking about uh, Queen Elizabeth here. And on the other side, because this side here will be face down, uh, but it's still a dang sight better, um, I have to say, than, of course, uh, the Royal Mints, um, you know, King Charles. In fact, hold on one sec, I'm just gonna show you this. So, here's the Royal Mints version, which I've had uh, since doing the review, and uh, as you could tell the difference, kind of night and day almost, I mean, one almost looks fake, but the, the, the both real. Um, yeah, there's the horrible, you know, chin mark bits, but anyway. It's still a bullion coin at the end of the day. And East India Coin Company has actually done a phenomenal job with King Charles, as I said, despite, well, him not necessarily being the favorite monarch um, to really be representing. But moving on, that's a lot of people's opinions. It's not mine. The coin itself has a one pound uh, denomination, 2023, as you can see here, and has... Charles III, and so on and so forth, uh, with St. Helena being uh, the issuing body of the company. Now, it does have a milled edge going all the way along the side of it. And, you know, this is the memoriam of Queen Elizabeth II for the coin. So, this is the side here. Now, I'm about to show you for one ounce of silver that you will probably like. And I do like it. Now, I like it for several reasons. And, you know, I shown you, it wasn't that long ago, again, by the Silver Trader, we have the Royal Mark here for Queen Elizabeth. And there's the Royal Mark for King Charles. I, the cipher. And uh, there it is there. So we have, you know, uh, Elizabeth, and you have the, the three in the middle. Um, and then you have the years that she had reigned from 1925 to uh, 2022. You have Lady Britannia um, just uh, standing over and looking down on um, what would you know appear to be Queen Elizabeth, uh, her grave. Um, so I have to say, actually, this is a very somber um, coin, but extremely well executed. Um, the standards, the image is phenomenal. Um, and it will strike a chord with all of those who actually liked Queen Elizabeth, um, and who will remember her fondly. Um, and as such, I mean, it's, yeah, it's one of those that I, I think I may have to actually have this to my collection. Um, it doesn't have a high premium, but you know what? It is a phenomenal coin. And, uh, you know, if anything, you know, you were collecting like the Britannias and everything else, and you may have picked up a couple of other pieces of, you know, uh, commemorating or celebrating Queen Elizabeth, this is definitely one to have. Um, now, 
it does have some Latin inscription along the side of it. Uh, now, I'm not going to try to read the Latin to you, as in, like, read it in Latin. But uh, the direct translation, uh, which is often wrong. Uh, o servants of... Um, as well, oh, servants of my soul, uh, and then it was um, pretty much. It, it basically means that you know she's still serving with you know uh, half her soul or something, uh, you know, to everyone. Uh, that's what I took from it. Um, the direct translation is gibberish. Um, I couldn't at all get it to you know to focus so. And uh, it was really, really annoying. Now, down below, we have the <laughs> typical blur. The East India Coin Company logo. Sorry about that blur there, which is right there. But what I really like is, of course, they're showing you and showcasing Lady Britannia. Um, not in her normal pose at all. Um, again, looking down almost as if she's holding you know onto uh the tombstone or what just maybe uh the trident is of course just resting on her shoulder uh she's not holding on to it um and it almost looks as if she's kneeling as well which you know i i kind of i have to say is a rather touching uh scene and I don't know why it's not getting a huge amount of publicity, this coin. Um, I'm not sure how, how many have been distributed and to where. Uh, but I do know for a fact that this is just gorgeous. If you've been on the fence and wondering really how good it is. I mean, yeah, you guys know I hate this, you know, matted background. But as you move it, you'll see it just... You get the light plate that bounces off. Um, if they would have done it all gloss or whatever, or even mostly gloss, uh, I think it may detract against the overall somber atmosphere of which this is kind of creating. It's, you know, a little bit of history here in your hands. You're holding on to it. And uh, you're just able to, to know, you know, it's been one year since she has passed away. Um... Yeah, I think they could have maybe made his face a little bit more sad. I'm <laughs> just saying, you know, am I the only one who noticed that? But as I said, you just still be face down. So who cares what's on the other side? Uh, you know, uh, it could be anything as far as I'm concerned. But this is the side here that kind of speaks volumes and speaks loudly to me. So I would love to know what your thoughts and opinions are on this. Um, are you gonna collect one? Are you collecting one? Do you already have one? Because I've waited an awful long time to actually do this video. Um, there's a, a few other coins that have just arrived in uh, from, I say just arrived, yeah, it's been days now, uh, from Martin that of course I'm you know, waiting to do. Um, there's things that I want to share and showcase with you. So, what I'm going to say is that tomorrow I'm actually going to be doing a special video. That's going to be Thursday. I don't normally do a special video. Um, I was planning on doing a live stream, but honestly, I'm just not up for doing a live stream at the moment, folks. Um, and uh, I have my reasons, so don't worry. I'm all cool. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things where I'll, uh, I'm going to be doing another special video um and i'm not going to give it away it is actually a special video i think you guys need to watch it pay attention and you'll definitely want to share it um because i have already brought it up once before in a video about two weeks ago or yeah thereabouts but there she is lady britannia resting upon queen elizabeth's uh what looks to be tombstone um celebrating her one year anniversary this is the memoriam of queen elizabeth uh, the second so yeah please like share subscribe sign up to this video i don't know give uh, one of those thank you things I, I you know i don't know what to say folks 
but I'll see you on Friday with an epic video. So stay tuned. I look forward to uh, seeing you guys then. All right, bye for now.